Hey everybody, how is it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about the overall market really quickly, and then I want to get into some energy stocks because uh, energy stocks have been getting hit rather hard lately. So I just want to give you my opinion on what I think could be happening with, with uh, those stocks and how it pertains to the overall market. Hopefully I can get this video uploaded. If not, uh, I always enjoy talking to myself anyway, but... Looking at the QQQ first, or the NASDAQ, um, we can see the NASDAQ had a gap down early on, but then was bought up immediately. I thought that was some pretty nice price action. Got up into this resistance area just above that all-important 8-period exponential moving average, that white line on the chart, and then uh, selling it came in. It kind of hit a brick wall when I got up to that resistance area. But, you know, we've had all the chances in the world to really sell off hard, not only yesterday, but also today when we ran into that 8-period exponential moving average, and the market is holding its own. So I'm going to take this as a plus and uh, even though the uh, the volume today was higher than yesterday i think most of that volume came in on uh you know earlier in the day when the gap up was being bought up so all in all i think it was a pretty decent day let's take a look at the spider uh, the S&P 500, of course, has been weaker on this bounce up than the NASDAQ. So I talked about that yesterday, how I thought we might have to grind around a little bit more just because the S&P 500 and the Dow um, or lagging the QQQ, even though the QQQ is looking like, uh, you know, could be making a pretty decent bottom. But I think this is a pretty nice day for the S&P 500. Got up to that eight period exponential moving average and then sold off, which could be expected, but it didn't sell off really all that hard. And you can see the volume uh, wasn't all that large either. And, uh, you know, this was a perfect opportunity for a bunch of selling to come in once it got up to that eight period exponential moving average. But I think the selling it could uh, really be starting to get exhausted but let's take a look at the diamonds or the dow jones industrial average pretty much the same thing volume was a little bit higher on the diamonds but got up to the eight period exponential moving average and sold off some but still holding its own still above that previous low so i think that is a very good sign um, and if we take a look at the IWM, you can see the IWM uh, looking uh, more similar to the QQQ uh, rather than the Spider or the Dow. And I think that is a good sign as well. The uh, IWM didn't get as high as that eight period exponential moving average today, but, you know, still kind of made a little bit of a consolidation day. So I'm going to take that as a win. But let's jump over to the USO or the price of oil we can see we had a nice gap down uh, today below that trend line but it got bought up right away so big question is is this a natural pullback in oil or um, is this the start of a longer downtrend now in my opinion i think it's probably going to be the start of a longer downtrend i think we could have some more upward price action uh, before we roll over again but, uh, you know, it remains to be seen if that does end up happening. The fact that we didn't break out for very long before it rolled right back over is not a good sign. You see a whole bunch of charts that are showing up with uh, failed breakouts that uh, look just like the USO. So um, I think in that we're probably going to get some weakness in energy going forward. And the main reason I think that is, is because I think there's some rotation going on in the market. I think the market is setting up for a summer rally. And uh, I think there's some positioning going on. I think some people are selling out of these energy names. And when I say some people, I mean it's like some big institutions are selling out of these energy names. And they're starting to position themselves in some of that beaten down tech and some of the other names, some of the other names out there that have been getting killed lately. Because if we do get a rebound in the overall market, Probably some of the names that have gotten beaten down the hardest are going to have the uh, some of the biggest bounces out there. Now, it might not be a sustainable bounce, and history usually shows when those beaten down stocks do get that first bounce, it usually isn't sustainable, only the very best names. So uh, these type of names, if you do end up taking a position in those, you probably want to get out uh, during the beginning part of the summer rally because they usually tend to tail off. But let's take a look at some of the energy names. Let's start with uh, Chevron. Um, looking at Chevron, you can see um, it definitely looks like people are headed for the exit, at least in the short term. Volume is picking up. It's breaking this trend line uh, that's been in place since last September. So 
Um, right around here, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we get a bounce up into that eight period exponential moving average or into that trend line before we get that rollover. Now, this is all just my opinion. I mean, energy could end up getting bought up from here, especially if something goes on over there in the Ukraine that makes everything worse. So, uh, but just by looking at the charts, it looks like people are starting to sell out of some of these oil names. Let's take a look at Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil uh, definitely getting weaker as well. A lot of big volumes, uh, selling volume coming in. Had a nice bounce up yesterday, but then sold off immediately. And I really couldn't find any traction despite the USO after that gap down being bought up the rest of the day. A lot of these oil names still lagged. Uh, let's take a look at Shell. You can see Shell made it all the way back down almost to that 200 period simple moving average again. Found some support a couple of days ago. But that uh, bounce so far has been short-lived, and uh, big volume just keeps coming in over these last couple of weeks. Let's take a look at uh, British Petroleum, or Beyond Petroleum, whatever they rename themselves. Um, you can see this one is holding steady under that 200-period simple moving average. So if we draw a trend line on this one, we can see that it has been broken. Um, so it needs to get back above that trend line as soon as possible. The longer they stay below these long-term trend lines, the more of a uh, continued move down they will end up being. Um, one that I have a decent size position is in CNQ, Canadian Natural Resources, and um, the selling has really started to pick up in CNQ. I am not selling out of CNQ at all. I'm going to keep this one in my portfolio. I'm still bullish on this one for the long term, but there is no denying that uh, sellers have been picking up steam in CNQ. Added a little bit more here at the uh, 200 period simple moving average, and I'm just going to kind of sit tight. CNQ pays a dividend of I think right around four and a half percent at the moment and um, you know it's a pretty decent dividend so I'm going to sit tight with CNQ. Now another name that I have is LNG. Um, they are in the liquid natural gas space and uh, they're actually in the oil and gas midstream sector on this software and this one uh, surprisingly is holding up quite well and you can see after the big sell-off um, a lot of volume poured back into this stock so I'm very bullish on this one for the long term I definitely want to sit on this one for many years and uh, it looks like people are not really selling out of this one been in a very long uptrend and um, man, it's still kind of holding its own in fact let's take a look at this sector right here um, just to show you how much this sector is getting hit right now. I guess I'll just kind of space bar through these, but you can see uh, TRGP, big sell-off. Uh, go to OKE, and I'm, and I'm just uh, scrolling through this sector from price from the uh, highest to the smallest. So I'm just looking at some of the higher price stocks in this sector, um, not in any specific order besides that, but you can see OKE has been getting crushed. TRP has been getting crushed, DTM getting crushed as well. So LNG is definitely holding their own. Uh, I really love the relative strength that this one is uh, having so far. Uh, MMP rolling over. I do have a position in MMP. DKL rolling over. I mean, you're starting to get the, uh, the point here. Everything is really selling off. So uh, the fact that LNG is holding up is very encouraging. ENB rolling over. STNG. This is one that Thomas has, and um, this one is holding its own as well. But uh, just giving you a point on what is going on in the energy sector. Um, let's take a look at some other things that are going on in the market. Um, Apple is really starting to carve out a very nice bottom. This is another reason why I think you know uh, the market is probably setting up for a summer rally. Um, Amazon is holding out, holding its own as well. Um, Nvidia on a small position in Nvidia. I actually was hoping that this one would fall uh, fall off a little bit more so I could build up a position. But you can definitely see Nvidia is trying to carve out a bottom as well. Um, some of the stocks that I like right here are the cruise lines. And you can see the cruise lines are starting to form a little bit of a floor above a floor. So uh, I really like these in the short term, but you really need the market to get strong in order for these to follow through to the upside. And in fact, I actually took a, an option position in Norwegian Cruise Line, which is NCLH. I can never remember. 
the ticker symbol on a Norwegian cruise line, but this one looking a little bit better than um, Carnival Cruise Line as far as a floor, the floor above a floor pattern. And I think if we get some follow through to uh, on the overall market, we're going to have a nice big update for NCLH. So I bought the $12 call that expires in nine days. So hopefully we get a nice pop up in um, you know the next couple of days or so because time is running out. Um, and of course, you know, stocks that you want to look at uh, potentially owning if we do have a recession are uh, these dollar stores, you know, Dollar General and a Dollar Tree. You know, these are definitely holding their own, just carving out a very long base. And I think if we do go into a recession, um, these ones are probably going to perform better than the average stock out there. I don't own a position in any of these, um, but uh, you can see. Dollar General and Dollar Tree are definitely holding their own, you know, you know, just a just an arm length away from an all time high or a new 52 week high on these stocks. So definitely some nice relative strength in those ones. But you know what? I'm going to end the video right here because uh, if this thing it cannot get uploaded. I'm not going to waste any more time. Hopefully I can get it uploaded. But uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down there in the comment section or if you guys are making any trades or if you uh, want me to look at any stocks, you know, please let me know and I'll uh, try to squeeze it in to the next video. Um, I guess I'm going to end it right there. Thank you so much for watching this all the way to the end. And until next time, uh, take care, everybody.